Hey you folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4! We are Bulgaria, and as is fairly typical when we play a minor nation, um, we find ourselves having to deal, like, fight the wars for the major nations, which is annoying. Um, and you know what, like, entering a war against Afghanistan, that's always a winning move for anyone involved, right? So I'm gonna take all my troops... Whoa! Okay. Poland has joined Latvia and our enemy in the Chinese-Latvian War. Please to be explaining the Chinese-Latvian War. What's actually the Polish-Soviet War? How did these guys get involved? Did, they, did someone declare war on Latvia? Okay. Well, no matter what, we were going to have to move all of our troops here. Um, just not where I thought. Uh... That's an annoying front line. Why are you doing it that way? Where, where... Oh, did these guys not join in yet? Well, there's a good chance they will. Alright, let me draw that. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to grab, like, four divisions and stick them over there. And we'll draw a battle plan that way. And then a battle plan... I don't know, sort of up to these mountain ranges, and then we're going to see what happens next. Actually, we might not want to go quite this wide. Maybe we'll just push up to this river, and then see what we where we go next. Uh, we have to wait for our troops to actually arrive at the front first. Um, what is 43? We should be getting this stuff. That's kind of a mistake, because we could have gotten that by now. Okay, hopefully they don't move forward too much, because our... Yeah, I was going to say, we have some forts here. That's actually incredibly annoying. Incredibly annoying. How's it looking over here? Not great. Yeah, push these guys back, like, right away. Although now I think what I can do is have a single front line drawn. There we go. Um, halt and re-figure out what you're doing. And let's plan for something like this. Yeah, that's incredibly annoying. If, what, imagine we lost Sophia right away because of the way this happened. Okay, uh, wouldn't mind getting some time bonus on the other hand. Push this back right away. Um, they're moving in here, but that's not necessarily... Well, actually, what I'm going to do is do this and this to pin you down. And that to put some extra combat with. Where'd all their troops go? Didn't they have a bunch more over here that I was worried about them moving forward a second ago? Get into Sophia, that's good. Old here. I, you know, we have so many troops here right now. Can I punch across this river right now? That would be huge. You go that way. You go this way. Actually, you can do this and that. That's what you're gonna do. Keep these guys sort of pinned in a little bit. It's not a great uh, place to fight. Uh, that would be into there. Let's do... Yeah, let's do something like this. I wouldn't mind having one fast division somewhere in here. Even just cavalry might be kind of useful. There you go. You're doing this, and then your move is going to be this. Halt you. Halt you. Regain your strength and be ready to jump in. Go there. I have no org. Um, and then cut across over here if you can. I know we're not activating the battle plan, but that's kind of okay right now. Let me uh, just double check. No other red borders anywhere. No good. Okay. Well, I mean, this is something. 
Uh, decision available. Purchase Soviet artillery. Yes, please. And I'm going to take more actual artillery because we need a lot of that. Um, we may need to change our manpower laws sooner than I'd hoped. I was trying to delay it as long as possible so that we could get the production bonuses. Um, can we tap across here? No, you can't. That should be pretty easy. And then you're going to go there, which will start to clean up our borders a bit. Oh. Go. Assist. Not all of our troops are yet at the front. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, okay, Netherlands, because this is Netherlands over here. Well, not helpful. Maybe we'll run you over here instead. I mean, not that the range is great. And in case we do have more planes, do that, do that. Oh, I just realized these guys never actually got their go command. That's not good. Do this. That's going to get taken care of, which is nice. I got to assume most of Poland's forces are on the east here. Murder of Christo Lukov. Uh, leader of the Union of Bulgarian National Legions. Ambushed with two members of the battle groups organized by the Bulgarian Communist Party. Okay. Who's Christo Lukov? Was he one of my activists? I bet you he's someone I couldn't hire because I'd, like, ban the Nazis or something. I think that's fine, but I'm betting that could have been annoying if I actually had the guy. There you go. They're finally breaking that, which is good. Getting a little air presence over here should help us move around a little bit faster as well. Um, let me move this battlefront, actually. We need to... I mean, I guess we sort of do need to sweep across the whole thing. Because I can't really just beeline to a capital. But I will go... And push out... Like that. You're moving that way, which is going to have to be okay. We're just going to try to find a river crossing somewhere along the way. Yeah, our troops don't move fast. The last time, the last game we played, we had a lot of fast moving troops, and man, oh man, was that ever fun. Yeah, come, on, come on, punch through. These guys actually don't have a lot of And they have enough. But. Keeping them pinned down and not being able to reinforce one of these other places actually has a fair amount of value. Take some of you guys, move you over here right away, because it's going to say... Okay, there. we got a few people coming in. We should be able to hold it for a sec. What is this decision? Purchase Soviet armor. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to keep purchasing light for now. Yeah, you're moving in there, and at least you'll have full orc when you arrive. And then we'll give you a beat to try to get organized. Um, bet you don't have any work. You can't attack from there. You can attack over here, but I'm not sure how much that'll accomplish. I'm wondering, actually. I think we might plan something like this. No, because I don't want to hit go. I don't want them to attack across the river. Um, automatically. We might do it by hand, but that's different. Now, this seems okay. And I'm going to take half of these guys to help out over there. And I'm going to take one of these guys to help out over here, just to open up as much frontage and combat width as possible. That should be a fairly good go. Once these guys recharge over here, we'll be able to make a good assault there. We can help from here, although there would be a river crossing. You can see why I value um, recovery rate a lot. Because it helps to be able to continuously go here. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then you guys are going to assist without moving. A little bit of attrition over there. It is October. We had a little bit of weather coming down a second ago as well. Um, assist without moving here. You assist without moving that way. Military police ready to go. Uh, what we need to do is we need to work on these techs over here. What do we know about Poland's troops? Really nothing, actually. It's too wide of a range. Yeah. 
we don't have enough going on. Um, how's our intelligence system sitting? Got some people doing missions. You're at home defending, which might not be a bad idea. Um, I just realized, cipher-wise, I mean, this will do this. The German Empire actually doesn't matter the same way. I think I will do is... Is this British? No, that's Swiss. They're over there. It looks over... It was over British Empire, but no, it would be the capital. We'll throw these in. We might not want to do them all at once. Um, in fact, I don't think it's worth doing Poland if we're doing all of these. If I were to pause... I guess if there's no progress, it just removes it. I don't know. That was weird. Um, okay, let's just do Poland for a sec and see what that does for us. We might be able to do some steel cipher jobs against them, too. Which seems like a good idea. Um, capture cipher is you. Okay, we're excellent already. I don't know, I'll just throw you in. That's going to be all right. Okay, we'll try to speed that along with Poland. That would be a pretty good button. Excavation done. Those two are going on. Nothing else down here is what we need. It's not 45. Um, we might want to unlock the logistics company, and because we might want to start doing stuff that way. On the other hand, burning through the tank research might have some value. Oh, you know what? We can get to the next level of artillery. That's actually a big mistake. Well, we've had to research about a million different useful and important things. Are you really having a hard time? Hopefully you're fresh. We do have the radio companies, right? For some initiative to come in here? Yeah. Um, what was the thing I was just looking at? Oh yeah, here, which is fine. Um, we don't really have much anti-tank. I'm less stressed on that. Oh, we do have our, our speed boost over here, so we're going to go and grab this. That's going to be a very high value. Interesting to see different uh, unit types out here. We don't have much in the way of special forces. We might be able to attack here from three fronts, actually. I know there's a river crossing. We can do that. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, they do have a lot of defense. We don't have that much breakthrough without having the armor with us. Try this again. Lithuania calls Estonia. Alright. Okay, I think that'll work this time. Hopefully. Uh, Ecuador, because Mexico's declaring and everything. Oops. There we go. Soviet Bulgarian war industry. We get some military factories. We get some bonuses, which is nice. Revolution abroad, right? Can annex some things. Topple government war goal against fascist or non-aligned neighbors. It's not really a high priority, really. War support, which we've got. Balkans united. Oh, that's a lot of division org attack. Oh, this core only, and then unification's over here. Okay, I think we can wait on that. Purge the elite. We lose stability, which sucks. Recruitable population, which actually might be critical. And some more factories. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit! Well, that's not how we wanted this to go. United States, which has no faction, has decided to declare war. Um, that's annoyingly declaring war on Mexico when they do have a war goal against Japan. They could have started with that one. That would have been great. This is less than great. So we still have full people in reserve. So as soon as there is some combat with available, fascist influence. Okay. What decisions available? Purchase Soviet military vehicles. Um, I'm going to keep getting some armored cars. Although, maybe we won't use armored cars. And we do use mo motorized. We still have plenty stockpiled, but actually, it might work out better for us to just keep restocking that. I'm going to throw you in here. Actually, maybe not you. You can hold. 
You are new this. Because we're just going to keep the combat width open, get the reinforcements. We've now crossed the river. That's a pretty big deal. I'll try to push up to maybe the mountains. Not that I've activated the warp plan. It might, might be time. Uh, yeah, cross and cross, buddy. Like, all of you go. You didn't actually finish the job. There you go. Some advancement there. We dramatically sh uh, close up the... Um, the front line, which is nice. Uh, hopefully we can hold here just long enough. I think we will be okay. They're trying a bit of a counterattack. I could start another attack somewhere else just to kind of pin some dudes. This has only got the one step, although there's going to be some reinforcements. Let me just move here. Actually, there might be an interesting opening. As soon as these guys cross, a few things are going to happen. Okay, so one of you moving away. I could attack now because you are... Oh, lend lease from Canada. Convoys, sure, it might be a little risky. Call to arms. Um, wait, and the allies? Oh no, German Empire, right, is the puppet of Poland. So, other than the United States, that's who I'm at war with. So this just puts me in the war against the United States. Okay. Fine. I don't, actually I don't know if I should have called Canada there. Canada might just get obliterated. Oh well. Most of them worried that they call in the fascist allies. Let's keep focusing on our own thing here. Um, what we're gonna do? Let's grab you that way. Assist. Assist. Moving that way. All right, I'm gonna hit go on the battle plan. Dawn of the American Union. The Philippines part of the American Union with the United States. Alright, well, that's a thing that is happening. Oh, that's a lot of red over here. Soviet... Oh, God. Why is it every time we play a miner, all we do, the entire time we're at war, is try to babysit the Major, who's supposed to be, like, 20 times stronger than us, but can't get anything done. Um... Back, but are you really moving in here? But you're also moving in here, so that should be okay. And you're moving in there, which is good. Tell you what, though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack here. I want to make sure they don't actually move in in time to do anything crazy. Go, new artillery package. Boom, done. Uh, more factories are going there, which is okay. If you do get more, we're probably going to do something like that. How's our trade situation? I haven't looked in a while. Um, probably because some of the deliveries have changed. I'd like to get non-convoy stuff, but unfortunately... That's not entirely possible. I'm worried about convoys from the British Empire being sunk. And I can't get any more from the Soviets. Oh well. Yeah, I would very much like to take this. A little victory point. The one downside to having them go automatically is that uh, it's a little harder for me to get fresh troops for an organized battle. planes flying around. How are all our planes doing? So, I mean, we don't have much um, effect over here, but we've got it there. This would be nice to do. Um, I don't think we've got much in the way of planes and reserves. But, we'll see. Did we win this one? Yeah, good. And 
that's good. These guys are moving back there. That's very nice. Um, I'm actually going to get you to do this way. One of you will move here, and the other will help out on that, actually. Just keep the momentum going. Keep pushing so that they can't dig in anywhere. And here's where we'd like some really speedy units. But you go to war with the army you've got, not the army you wish you had. We will do this. And that. Move you quickly here, although I don't think anyone's about to move into this province because we're keeping these guys pinned down here. So attacking into the mountains back there might be a little difficult, although they might not be positioned and ready to defend anything. Are you actually short on equipment or manpower? Just waiting for reinforcements. Current manpower 50%. Oh yeah, we have no manpower. Um, I think we will change our manpower law, actually. Blueprints get. Agents, a bunch of them are sitting at home. Oh. Yeah, I was right clicking. God damn, why is it with the ships? The ships are a right click. Most thing most other things are a left click. I don't know. But it is what it is. Um, do we still have any suppression going on? Do we need it? Actually, yeah, we could use a little bit of this. And then the new provinces as well. Seems like a fairly good idea. That's one of, the, one of the things our manpower is being eaten by, actually, is the Rebellion. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is move the frontline plan forward. Um, they're going to be on stop, which is okay. We're going to do something a little bit like this. This should be mostly empty. I mean, they don't have that much stuff. Neither do we. But what's more important here is that they just don't have a large amount of anything. So they're going to have a hard time holding all this empty territory. And the idea is hopefully we can thin out to a front line, like in this little choke over here, sooner rather than later. Uh, let's move up there. You're moving up that way, which is good. In fact, if you can continue past this and do this, we can actually possibly cut these guys off, or not. Halt, halt, halt. Yeah, just go here. That's going to have to be enough. We can do a repeat attack in a second here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to have to save up for the manpower law. Well, if we keep doing this... Um, I don't need infantry equipment. Let me turn that off for now. Iran. Okay, well we still don't board anything. The thing is, if the allies jump in, we're just we're just done. But we have to play as if they're not. Or we're never gonna get anything done. Go, go, go. How much intel do we have on these guys? Yeah, they have a We have no manpower. They have a, like a million manpower. Oh that's sorry, that's their deployed. I forgot about that. Um it's over here for their remaining quarter of a million. Still. Like Come on, man. How many man? How much manpower do we have in the field? So we have we have less than half a million in the field. They have maybe a million in the field and a quarter million more at home, ready to join in the fight. On the other hand, they're having to work this front here. They're doing pretty well at it because apparently the Soviets, the Soviet AI is just terrible. In the future, I should probably just go and buff that. They're gonna move in a little here. Push them back over there. Actually, I don't know if, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna halt that move completely. Call to arms. Okay, let me double check here. Okay. Yes, I will say yes, that's fine. It doesn't really do anything. Just making sure they're not actually at war with the allies, the fascist allies. The fail allies. Uh, go, go. And actually, you as well, before you leave, are going to do this. 
because we can dramatically cut down our front if we pop this. Actually, what I should do is take one of these and do this. Because this is now empty, which I hadn't realized, although it looks like they're trying to move someone in there now. If we don't get there, that's not the end of the world, because it still means these guys won't be able to reinforce over there. But we did cut apart. We did, actually. Um, you, we're gonna hit this guy to, prop, to prevent him from moving into this province. This is very important. We can merge our front again. And not get cut off supply-wise. Um, oh, they have, yeah, they have no... Oh, these are the guys who just ran back. There we go. And they're moving back some more. I don't know how far we want to push with this. Okay, that's fine. Lost that. If we get pushed, it'll be bad. Let's halt this. I'm wondering about pulling you back. Do this, do that, and sit. Hopefully we don't lose all our orc for this. Go. Let's do this as well. Um, so I want to keep these guys pinned down so I can move forward over here. And let's do this and move one of them all the way to Belgrade. And I don't think we're going to be successful pushing in there. Not yet. And yeah, pull back over here, that's fine. And even here, what we're going to do is we're going to move here after you're, you're done retreating. There you go. And I'm going to pull back this way so we don't actually assign any troops in this little bit. Because it's way too risky we could get pocketed. Um, yeah, we're not caring about recruiting there. Doesn't cost us any points, but we're not looking to do that right now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to change our manpower laws. I was hoping we could get a few more freebies. Any money? No. Why don't you do this? Um, a few more freebies from our focus the trees. Do this. The for you. I'm gonna get you to move up to here. Yeah, enemy does have air superiority. We've got this covered. Although we're not really doing any fighting over here anymore. The thing to do might be to do this and then jump in, yeah, on the Western Balkans. That might be a slightly better move for us. Oh, I hope the fascist allies don't jump in on me. Okay, is, I'm going to start that attack. And then, yeah, you guys are going to get here and then I'm going to get you to assist in that. We actually got a fair amount of org back. And over here, do... This? Uh, you don't have much. Um, you actually are going to help out with that push. And over here, actually. Don't change plans, you're going to do that. And you're moving over there. You might even be able to cross the river, but I think we'd be a little vulnerable. we got to make sure we're not doing anything that drains too much of our manpower. Um, halt. halt, 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 thank you. Same thing, you're just gonna move there and then wait. And then, you know, redo your front line. Okay, they're running back there, which is gonna smooth this out a little bit. You're gonna hold that, which is great. I mean, they're cracking across the river into some rougher terrain. I mean, we're low on manpower, but what are you gonna do? I suppose we might consider actually not running a national focus for a sec so that we can get extra political power so we can change our manpower laws sooner. I think that's a good idea. In fact, I think I should have waited for the purge the elite. But, you know, hindsight. Butt sight. It's funny they're not moving forward over here, even though I'm leaving it completely open for them. How you doing, Soviets? How's your east front looking? Pretty bad. Okay, good stuff. I can't help with that, though. Um, purchase Soviet air... You're... No, I'm going to have to wait. On all those, because I need to change my manpower laws. 
means we're going to lose industrial production, but at this point we have no real choice. Um, the Yeah, the air situation's not fantastic. They're, they are operating a little in the Eastern Balkans as well. Okay. I'm going to split you in half. You're going to operate in the Eastern Balkans from probably this airfield over here, actually. Just make sure we're not getting bombed too much. How's our construction queue look? Yeah, I was going to say, there's a fair amount of damage. Let's move you up to the top. Uh, they're bombing the shit out of Sophia, actually. Decision available is what? Recruit in Canada, popular state. Wait. Okay, no. Yeah, you're fine. Actually, I think they did change their name. They're still in the common term. It might not be in there for long, because they're getting ass kicked everywhere. So what I get for not mind-controlling the United States here. 43, I guess I could finish the artillery, which seems like an okay thing. We're fairly reliant on it. Getting as many boosts there as possible is going to be good. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they're already pretty much fighting in these wars. I think this should work just fine now, pretty easily. Getting a little attrition over here. It is winter, though. Getting some building sabotage. Very annoying. Yeah, when a few more people come back from their missions, I think we will... I don't know. Plant false intelligence... Gonna bring you home. Do some root out resistance. Make it a little easier for us since we don't have the manpower really to do it. Okay. I think other than maybe, yeah, we'll take this, that's gonna be fine. Other than that, I don't know if we're gonna make any more moves forward for now. Pop Canada Popular State has capitulated. Not really surprised given how things were going over there. Why do you keep asking me to recruit from the same place over and over? Where Where is Canada that we would do that? Uh, we're getting some green. Actually, I think the Soviets have been pushing forward over here, haven't they? What is the... Um, owner? Just Soviet Union, okay. So they haven't pushed forward, but they haven't lost any. Or some of this... Oh no. That is over here supposed to be Soviet. Still, they're getting it back, which is something. Uh, war propaganda. I don't care about this. F off with the war propaganda. Thank you very much. Purge the elite. Coming near to an end. Why are we losing this one now? Oh, I guess we just we just lost overall. But we're getting some extra fighters. We've got enough frontage over here. We got some nice surround bonuses. That should go okay. But yeah, without, without tanks, we're really not going to be a pushing master, which is one of the reasons why, theoretically, we're going to be reliant on the Soviets, but they can't do, they can't do anything. I gotta remember that. Every time, I think every time we go communist, I get really pissed at the Soviets for being incompetent. Urgh. Okay. Alright, a little bit of a push there. Um, make sure you're moving into here so that we actually hold it. Battlefield support is done. Tactical bomber, ground support, we don't do any of that. Naval mission. Actually, yeah, we don't need any of that right now. Um, it's almost 44. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this fighter. We've got some experience now. So we're going to be dumping it into the fighter threes. Uh, I'm going to go... Actually, you know what? I feel like we can hold this. We've got enough of a buffer here that any troops holding this spot probably won't get lost immediately. We do have low supplies in places. I think over here in the west. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually fix those first and then work on the infrastructure repairs. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, they did retake that real quick, but we should be able to... Take it immediately back. 
because it's not like they're dug in. They don't have much in the way of orb. It'd be nice to have, like, an attack coming from here, too, for truly multi-directional attack, but we should be okay. All right, hold that. I might be able to push here, which might be a little risky, but I suppose then we can go and hit this guy from multiple angles. We'd be attacking against the mountains. Let's, I think that's going to be okay. Oh yeah, that is going to maybe open up too much of a bulge. This becomes accept acceptable as long as we immediately go and then use it to take here. The angle, we do have the intel advantage, which is really helpful. Really helpful. Yeah, that's actually making a big difference for us. Speaking of... We can stop doing these things, and I don't know if that's what we wanted. Should we, get, we should get a little passive counterintelligence. There could be a bunch of people working in our territory right now. They could be uh, working to support... Okay. Support some of our rebels. They could be doing anything like that. Okay, stop. One of you, make sure to stand here. Oh, you're pulling back there, which is interesting. Are you... Oh, you're moving into here. Then what I will do is attack immediately to keep you pinned down. Can you assist from here? Oh, yeah. It's a lot of river crossings. Oh, I don't know if this guy can. Well, that's interesting. It's not actually adjacent there. I mean, this guy's not in great shape to defend, but these guys are getting beaten up so much that's going to help. Uh, Region-wide uh, industrial integration is decent. But we don't want that right now. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put a cut in here. Oh, we're nearly out of fuel. God damn. That's what we get for the fact that we never got the oil fields over here, which is painful as hell. Um, we might have to start importing some. Now, we should be able to import some from the Soviets. No? Yes. One factory worth. Done. I was going to say, they should have some holdings somewhere over here. Although, are they losing? I think they're losing. Soviets, why are you so bad? How's your war contribution in this? Oh, there's more people that can be called in. Uh, anyway, uh, we're only 5%. Well, it's because it's the war against Asia that's been going on this whole time. So compared to that, there's not that much. There's a lot of green here, which is at least something to see. Yeah, I don't know, man. Infrastructure over here. Could use a little bit of loving as well. But yeah, we'll leave it a little lower. Um, the repairs are still somewhat more important. Because they're faster. This looks like it will go, which is nice to see. Oh, you're moving away. Can you just keep helping? That would be nice. And you can't, but at least you're not being pushed back. Okay, well, I'm going to put a cut in here. We're doing everything we can, I think. Although I'm, I'm, I'm regretting. I, I don't know. I don't know if the America thing was, was possible. We would, we would have had to commit to it completely and ignore absolutely everything else. We would have had to use our spy agency to only do that one thing. It, it would have been pretty useful, but, well, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, if the Americans start showing up over here, it'll be bad. Then The only thing going for us is they still haven't joined an actual faction. Well, no, they've got the American Union. So they're not in the same faction as some of these others, but I don't know. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.